technology is changing faster than ever before. From artificial intelligence to virtual reality to self-driving cars, our lives are being disrupted by innovations that can make everything faster, better and easier. And drones are one of them. Hello everyone, this is Prachi Tiwari for SME Futures and today we are interacting with Kishan Tiwari, the co-founder and the CEO of TSOR Drones, to know what inspired him to start delivery of medicine to the doorsteps via drones. Tell us a bit about yourself and your journey as an entrepreneur. Okay, so uh, uh, Prachi, uh, we started this startup in 2019. Actually over then I was a college student myself. So I am graduated in 19 from NIT Allahabad uh, in mechanical stream and actually in my final year I was heading this uh, collegiate robotics and aero modeling club. There was two clubs uh, which is technical I was heading. Uh, I got this company incorporated using our scholarship money that I got and, and then yeah the journey has been uh, since we have been working. Okay. And what motivated you to start TSOR Drones and how do you envision the company's role in shaping the future of drone delivery services? Yeah, so uh, what, what we have seen now, ki, ki in this uh, India, the geography is vast, like even we talk about incredible India. But so so even that that is also a challenge for us when it comes to infrastructure and and scaling up services like even government facilities to all the locations across the country yeah. so with with t-shirt drones what we imagined key like so the technology is growing very fast so we are just trying to bring this technology to bridge this gap uh, where where infrastructure is a challenge and then we can actually go a step further uh, without requiring this basic road infrastructure and, the, and, and offering the same services to those people out there so, so the reason for the startup and the company that we are building is to have like a fifth mode of transportation. What is the USP of your uh, product and its features? Okay, so so uh, our USP uh, is actually in two aspects, Prachi. Uh, one is in the tech part. So in technology, see, hardware is all about key. It's aerospace. Aerospace has been here since decades. Okay, so so the major USP for us was in hardware was actually in terms of uh, manufacturing innovation. Like using our technology and designs, we have actually decreased capital expenditure on each drone on each asset by more than fifty percent. Or coming to the software aspect of these drones, actually uh, we have this completely in-house uh, software system which automate these drones, like we call them Tesla for air that we are building. Okay, so it's like achieving level five of autonomy so that we can be commercially re relevant, commercially viable. Coming to the operational side of it. So actually as the operational guys, we are also building these lot of SOPs in drones on how these will be operational, how everything will work. While you created this delivery ecosystem, what challenges you faced while creating this product and how this ecosystem will work? Uh, the, the first thing that you ask are the challenges that we are facing while building this ecosystem actually. So there are a lot, like if you see about this drone delivery as a industry vertical, so it's a completely new vertical coming up. So there is drone industry altogether. There is logistics industry. Apart from this, uh, so and, and the major challenge is that these drones are expensive. These drones need to be very safe so that quality standard for these drones are very, very high. So that was one of the main challenge that we faced in our early stage. Now the second thing uh, that we are facing, so actually it's like common for like all the drone uh, guys that, that are in the industry is the scaling problem. So if you start deploying these drones to multiple locations, uh, then you need a uh, human to, to actually take care of these machines, to actually maintain these machines. In some case, be there as a pilot uh, in early stage of operation to, to make sure everything is okay. But but these require actual like serious skills to be there. And then if you see the DGC regulation, so it is like if you are a 12th pass student, you can just go to any uh, DGC authorized RPTUs, get a license and then start uh, working with any company as a drone pilot. 
but actually that that was okay with the basic surveying or basic agricultural use case but you come about drone delivery as a use case it is the most complicated one so it requires a lot of skills and that is again one of the challenge that we are facing and like we are working on to solve this can you talk bit about your collaboration with kanhaiya life care medicine and how many deliveries have you made till now so actually uh, uh, kanhaiya i was one of, is one of the client for us in kolkata region uh, with whom we are uh, starting up our operation in medicine so like like i told ki one uh, route we have already operational in uh, kolkata region connecting howrah to salt lake city and now opening up more route uh in coordination with atc uh at connecting to three more location so so for us it's like like i told you it's a network that we are building of which uh, there there will be a lot of client who will be utilizing cross utilizing these assets it's like a truck i am running between two points and there are a lot of uh, users that need to use that truck services to to uh, deliver their items so the same thing that we are doing for kanaiya So, what is your expansion plan? Are you going to stick to Kolkata, or are you targeting any other cities now? So, Prasi, there are some multiple location in pipeline. Even in some case, uh, we are targeting some specific states to cater. Uh, like, like we have a vision of to connect uh, some states uh, in in very limited time uh, as to what they are right now. So, so that is in pipeline, which I cannot say right now, but but I can just say that uh, next twelve months are exciting and there will be a lot of new set will come. Yeah. So, what what is the process of booking these deliveries? So, Prachi, for us right now, it's it's a B two B business, like enterprise even enterprise thing that we say. So, we are just right now just catering to a specific uh, big users, uh, because right now going ahead the volumes are very limited for us that that we can get on these drones. Okay, it's like uh, you are running a airline business, and then there are. Uh, A specific volume of weight that you can you can take. Right now, uh, with these clients, we we sign our agreement and then we based on their volume demand, we we deploy our drones and they start operating. So there are just very limited customers that we are serving and uh, like intend to serve in in coming uh, quarter. Yeah. So what support have you received from the government, or if not, what support are you seeking from them for it to be better? in mm, project government has been very supportive so far especially in the regulation see for any industry to thrive na uh, government laws are very important that government uh, has been supportive so far in also conducting these trials these operation on ground or uh, some government department itself pushed even states pushed for the strong usage across across location so yeah that has been so far we are also we are expecting again the same to keep it this way to to push the bv loss thing that is coming up of it yeah so that's all yeah prach yeah uh, so what is the vision for your company <laughs> like i told prach ji uh, to 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 build build a network uh, a streamline uh, connectivity for logistics uh, across country connecting tier 2 tier 3 tier 4 from major warehouse and actually enable quick deliveries to these location quick services to these location so that's that's our motto thank you kishan thanks a lot prachi for your thanks a lot yeah. thank you